welcome back to another Parts Factory Australia installation tutorial video. Guys, back out on the farm again. I'm working on this Holden Rodeo specifically. We are going to be swapping out the master control switch. Super common on the uh, 2007 to 2012 RA Rodeo. The four button and the two button master control switches bugger out. It's a problem. You can't get your window up. Security's done in your car. It's something that needs to be swapped quickly, fast. So that's why you come to Parts Factory Australia, grab yours for 88 bucks 30, free express post to your door, watch this video, learn how to fit it, your whole car's fixed, back up and running in two to three days, which is what we're looking for here at Parts Factory Australia. Alrighty guys, this one's gonna be quick and easy, about five minute job, super straightforward. I'll show you as we go, let's jump into it. Alrighty guys, this is the part we are taking out of the door. This is the one you're putting back into it. Now, first things first, you're here because you're having problems with your window. Unfortunately, if your window busts out, as uh, your, your, your master control switch, that means that you're, you obviously can't put your window up and down, which is a problem. And the problem is, is you don't know if it's your switch or the reg. So the best way to do it is to buy the switch because it's the cheaper alternative or the cheaper of the two. Put the switch in. If it fixes your problem, then you know it was a switch. And if it doesn't, then it's your window reg. It's always best to get the switch first, test it. If it doesn't fix it, then get your reg. We stock both, cruise onto the website, click the title of the video, and you can get this on the, on the way to your door. Alrighty, once you've got it, now it's time to replace it. So, Phillips head screwdriver straight into this hole here. You got two Phillips head screws holding this little, it's like a, what is it? A, I mean, it's your, it's your door card, um, basically your little hand grip to pull the door shut. A lot of people call it a cigarette pouch or whatever, but it's not really that anymore, is it? All right, so once you've got those two screws out, then you can just rotate around, unplug the plug, one and two, watching that you don't lose your Phillips head screws. You wanna be pulling the whole thing out, that way you can, got heaps of space to work on it. Once you've got it out of the, um, the door, then we'll bring it over to a, like a workstation so we can begin pulling it out of the shroud. Right, this is not only a great time to obviously swap the switch out, it's also a good time to tidy up this bezel. So first things first, we're gonna take the switch out of the surround. Again, a Phillips head screwdriver gets the job done. So you've got one screw here. You could just leave it sitting in there. You got one at the back here. Again, leaving it just chilling. And then one more, it's a three screw job. Cause once you've got all three out. You could just lift the switch out, turn it over, and let the screws drop into your hand and put them in a little pile there. Yeah, so as I said before, now this is a great time to get maybe like some uh, household cleaning product, spray it on there, let it soak for a sec, give it a nice wipe. Let's get your car back to uh, clean once again. And this is obviously at this point where you can grab your new switch, slot it in, look at that. And if you've cleaned up your bezel, you can see what I'm saying here. It's good to just do that type of thing while you're in. And at that point, guys, obviously it's now time to put your three screws back in, tighten up, plug back in, and test it out. Alrighty, guys, so as you can already tell now, the rest is very straightforward. Plug the plugs back into all of the corresponding little um, devices, putting it in, and remember it slides forward, Placing it down, give it a little tap just to ensure that it is indeed in the correct spot. And then of course, this is the final part. You put your two little screws back into the hole, tightening it up to the end. Secondary one here. And that would be it guys. Now I just wanted to point out before this video does come to an end, can you imagine if you were to pay a mechanic an hour's labor to do what is essentially a five minute job. Look at that, we're in and out, done, replaced, and hopefully your, your boyfriend or your friends are all giving you a pat on the back for doing it yourself, which is fantastic. Alrighty guys, so now at this point, you can switch your car on, test it out. Of course, if your window now is, goes up and down, all good, that's uh, happy days for you. But if it still doesn't, it's now time to look into your window reg. Your window regulator motor's probably f uh, burned out, and that's why you get no response from your switch. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching another Parts Factory Australia installation tutorial video. Um, if you can, like the video, let me know that this is something you're interested in, you know, gave you good value. 
And if you are doing your own DIY repairs on cars such as this one, this is a great YouTube channel to have in your tool belt. So subscribe to the channel, that way you can find us again. And of course, let us save you some more money in the future. My name's Lucas, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.